Okay, good day. So, welcome to our lecture 2 of General Physics 2, which is um, electric potential. So, the learning competencies to be discussed for this period are the following. Okay, but before we move on to our main topic, so, um, let us analyze this photo. What can you see, okay, in the photo? So, we can see that there is a light bulb connecting to a electrical supply, okay, or to a socket. So, how do we light a light bulb? Okay, what are the concepts or mechanisms in order for us to light a light bulb? Okay, so may general terms na papasok sa isip natin. So itong three terms na to, which is voltage, current, and resistance. Okay, so on this lecture on and on to our next um, topics, okay, we will be individually discussing um, voltage, current, and resistance and how, how do or how can we power your household okay so based from electrostatic force okay where we know that um particles such as charges okay move from one position to another okay they can either either be repelling or attracting each other so since um they are changing in position due to a force um from the electric field uh, released by our charges okay there is a work done okay so work as we define it it is the product of the magnitude of the displacement of an object and the component of the force parallel to the displacement it is a scalar quantity and the unit we use for work is in terms of joules mathematically work is equals to fd cosine theta where theta is the angle between the force and the displacement vectors but generally we use the equation work is equals to force times displacement okay alongside with um knowing or describing work of a particle that uh, changes its position due to force okay pumapasok din po dito yung ating understanding of energy because energy is the ability to do work okay so um, for based from work energy theorem, okay, as stated in that theorem, okay, as um, energy, specifically potential energy, changes, there is a negative work done, okay? So, as we define potential energy in nature, we have gravitational potential energy, and it is the energy of an object or of, an, of a particle uh, which is initially at rest, or it is an energy, a stored energy of an object. Okay, so work is equals to the gravitational potential energy of a particle. Okay, since um, charges, okay, are initially at rest before um, undergoing electrostatic force, okay, so it has its own potential energy and the counterpart of gravitational potential energy to quantum particles is what we called as electric potential energy okay we can derive the equation for electrical potential energy using the um equation of work because particles especially charges also has work done work is equals to force times Displacement and the force that is um, applicable for quantum particles is what we call the law, uh, the electrostatic force or the Coulomb's law. It is equals to k q1 q2 over r squared. Okay, substituting that expression to work is equals to force times distance. So we could get this expression: work is equals to k q1 q2 over r squared multiplied by, by the displacement. Since d and r um, explains a uh, similar okay uh terms which is equivalent to the distance okay we could cancel this part okay leaving us the equation for potential energy or electro electrostatic potential energy which is is equal to k q1 q2 over r where k is our coulomb's constant q1 and q2 is the magnitude of our point charge and r is the distance between them Okay, so electrical potential energy describes, okay, how much stored energy a charge has when moved by an electrostatic force. So, ito po yung stored energy na meron ng isang point charge. Okay, so electrical potential energy is just an energy. Okay, it is uh, measured in terms of a unit of joule. 
Kasi energy is a joule, is in terms of joule. So electrical potential energy is in terms of joule. So meron pa tayong um, other uh, concept, okay, which measures how much, okay, electrical potential energy, okay, a charge has, okay. This is uh, what we call as electric potential. Electric potential, in, in layman's term, this is also called as voltage, Okay, so ito yung tinatawag nating voltage. Voltage is simply a measure of electric potential energy per unit charge. Okay, so ano po ang difference ni electric potential energy kay electrical potential? So si electric potential energy, it measures the energy stored in that specific point charge. Okay, si electric potential, ito po yung gaano kadaming Energy, meron kaya? Ano kayang potential? Okay, anong potential na ang dami ng energy na meron yung isang charge? Okay, mathematically, electric potential energy, the unit we use it in this um, uh, concept is um, in terms of volts or capital letter V or joule per coulomb. Okay, mathematically, it is defined as electric potential energy divided by the magnitude of our charge. Okay, or V is equals to UE over Q. Okay, so V, uh, UE, yung na-derive natin kanina, equal po siya sa K, Q1, Q2 over R. Okay, so, so kung isa-substitute natin yan dito, makakancel yung isang Q natin, leaving us the equation of for electric potential of K, Q over R. So in terms of um, electric field, we could also calculate okay, the electric potential using um, V is equals to ED or V is equals to ER. Okay, same lang din po yan. Kasi, ano po ba ang equation natin of E? E is equals to KQ over R squared. Okay, kung imumultiply natin yung D, so makakancel yung isang D, leaving us the equation of KQ over R. So, pwede po ang gamitin natin is in terms of electric field or in terms of a point charge. So, same lang po sila. Okay, so take note of this two equation, V is equals to KQ over R and V is equals to ED. Okay, so to know more about voltage, okay, so let me, let us use this analogy. Okay, so we have here a pump, a reservoir, and a pond. Okay, so at, as you can see, the reservoir is elevated from our our body of water which is our pond okay we have here a pump okay we have here a pump so meron tayong pump na nag uh, uh, susupply okay na nagsusupply ng water doon sa ating reservoir okay so we could use this analogy in uh, analyzing the concept behind voltage. So, yung water natin sa reservoir natin, we could um, uh, we could take that as our voltage. Okay? So, yung mga water, yung, yung water natin, if we are not going to, or we are going to delete this part, okay? Yung uh, water flow pa balik yun sa pond, this, it is just there. Okay? So, it it is not moving, okay? Nothing is happening to the water. Water. It has potential energy, okay? So, yung amount ng potential energy dito sa reservoir natin, okay? So, yun yung voltage ng ating system, okay? Once na, na, na nasustore yung energy dun sa reservoir, okay? It is just like our battery. So, andun lang siya. Wala, wala, kung wala kang ikakabit na wire, okay? Nakastore lang dun, yung energy mo, okay? Hindi mo siya natatransform into one um, form or another. Okay? Once na nagkabit ka ng water flowing backwards or pabalik doon sa uh, pond mo, okay? So, nagagamit mo yung energy, okay? Nagagamit mo yung energy doon sa um, reservoir mo, okay? So, yung water flow, pwede po siya nating i-consider as the current. The pump here, Siya yung nagbibigay ng energy dun sa ating 
reservoir, this is our EMF, or what we call as electromotive force. So, yung electromotive force, siya po yung uh, responsible in um, storing energy, okay, dun sa ating batteries. Okay? So, ano po bang itsura ng battery? Okay? Ang battery, di ba, meron siyang dalawang ends. Okay? Pag 9 volts, dalawang magkatabing uh, terminals. Okay? May dalawa siyang terminals. So, yung dalawang terminals na yon para saan po ba siya? Yung positive at negative. Yung positive at negative terminals is used to get the potential difference, okay? The potential difference of um, our uh, voltage reservoir or voltage supply, okay? So, ginagamit po siya. For example, this is our battery. So, for example, this is our battery, okay? Imagine niyo, tapos meron tayong dalawang points, okay? Ito yung positive, ito yung negative. So, ang nasukat mo po dyan, ang sinusukat talaga dyan is yung potential difference between those two points. For example, okay, for example, 8 volts, okay? So, kapag tinaasan mo, okay, kapag tinaasan mo yung height ng reservoir, pag tinaasan mo yung limit niya to store energy, mag-store siya ng energy, mas madami din yung um, uh, water na magpa-flow. So, mas madaming current yung i-allow niya to flow. Okay? So, Based from this, um, we can conclude that um, voltage uh, travels from high potential to low potential. Okay, so kung alin po yung may pinakamataas na potential uh, na system, okay, papunta, or voltage na system, papunta sa pinakamababang uh, or mas mababang potential of system. Okay, so um, nabanggit po natin yung electric potential difference. Okay, how do we define electric potential difference? This is just simply the difference in the electric potential between the final and initial position when work is done upon each charge to change its potential energy. For example, okay, so this charge, okay, initially nasa high potential energy part yung ating charge, nasa positive. Tapos, nag-flow siya or nag-repel siya, okay, nag-repel siya papunta dun sa low potential energy. Okay, how do we calculate the electric potential difference? Okay, electric potential difference is um, okay, expressed as delta V. Okay, delta V is equals to VI minus VF. Okay, so, in this, uh, sorry, VF final minus initial rather, final Minus initial. So, electric potential, how do we cal calculate the um, for or the work done? Okay? Paano daw natin makakalculate yung work done ng ating charge? Okay? When it uh, move from high potential to low potential energy. Okay? So, work is equals to FD. Okay? Force times displacement. In terms of electrical field, since this um, two plates here, okay, exerts electrical field E. In terms of um, E, okay, we are getting the F. So F is equals to um, electric field times the charge. Okay, so is substitute natin yan dito. Work is equals to E. Q, D. Okay? So, D here, the dis, uh, displacement or changes in position happens on the Y axis. This is the initial position and this is the final position. Okay? Work is equals to um, EQ YF minus YI. Mapapansin natin pababa siya, kaya ine-negate natin siya, papunta sa negative Y axis. Okay? So, work is equals to negative EQ over YF minus YI. Okay? As we know, 
change in potential energy is equals to negative work. Okay? So, since we are talking about potential difference, okay? So, ipapositive na po natin siya. Work is equals to EQ YF minus YI. Okay? So, i-distribute natin siya. Work is equals to EQYF minus EQYI. Okay? So, based from this um, expression, pwede natin ilabas yung Q. Kasi yung Q natin, or yung charge natin, uh, pwedeng similar yung value niyan, which is 1.6. Okay? So, work is equals to Q. So, labas na natin yung Q. EYF minus E Y I. Okay? So, based from our previous slides kanina, si ba, din, ba dinify natin yung V as ED? Pwedeng gamitin natin ay ED or ER. Okay? In terms of the electric field. So, this expression here is um, also okay, the voltage or the electric potential of that specific point. At that specific point. So, work is equals to Q VF minus VI. Okay? Initial potential sa position F o at saka initial put potential sa position Y. Or, work is equals to Q delta V. Okay? So, this is how we get the work done using the electric potential difference um, between two points. Okay? So, again, electric potential difference is simply measured the electric potential uh, energy per unit charge. Okay? It is um, expressed mathematically as delta V is equals to VF minus VI or delta V is equals to E delta D. Okay? Dapat may delta dun sa D. Okay? E delta D. Okay? So, that would be all for this lecture, I hope you had learned something for electric potential, voltage, electric potential energy, and electric potential difference. Okay? So, um, kindly tune in sa ating Google Classroom for the posted worksheet for this lecture. Okay? So, before I leave this, um, uh, before I ended up this discussion, allow me to leave this quote to you. Be a voltage, have your own potential. Okay, so that would be all for this lecture. I hope you had learned something for voltage. Okay, so thank you.